Welcome back. It's the last day of the Southeast Asian close qualifiers for Dream League Season 22. Most of the open qualifier teams actually do really well, and only Aurora from the invited teams made it into the top two uh, since they're waiting in the grand final. Look at the trades that they're doing on top. Yeah. Full HP, both of them. 50 oh, man up for Cold Might Grace. be able to kill this bounty here as well yeah. with the damage output slowly burning with that battle hunger. Go and he might just room. die. Let's see if the ticks are going to be enough to get a knife on the camp. And JG oh, they, gets a tick. Him. They hit so low, like so. I mean, so One slow. Fight. There's no reason to just TP like that. The stun was gone. They're going on him. He's made here. Castaway doesn't get the connection. Yo, he is pulled in closer. And Ken, the Illuminate, yeah. is available. And he's going to drop it as that stun ends. Full on movement speed, and you might have limited stun and catching your team. You have like boots of travel. JG actually could get a good two man call here, and a couple hits only, but they're not the fastest attackers, so he's not spinning at all. Almost killing Palos there, but uh, JG will finally end up dropping. But what I was going on about the Caudal is when you have these stupid builds like. Uh, is that again, maybe? Let's see. Can they catch him? Blood grenade, five seconds for another Illuminate. Doesn't have the mana for it, so they're just doing it the old fashioned way, just right clicking away, and they will get this uh, kill. The creeps will actually get the kill. But yeah, like, uh, I'm never gonna finish my point about the coddles, but yeah, they just go full on movement speed and build. Palos gets dunked by JG. He drops low from the splinter blasts and the Arctic burns, and JG just walks in to uh, drop that axe on top of his head. He decapitates people, he takes their head off with the axe. Why well, does he take their armor? Well, Boss is getting pummeled here by the Lagoon of Lin, and CDR almost kills himself, but just in time for the Centaur to drop first. Jotun down de dead as well, and CDR won't get enough regen out of the Marcy. Matt Ryder will throw in the lasso, burn Castaway a little bit, but Castaway yeah. will survive. Top lane, Palos. Can they take Palos his at the same armor time. again? Response. And drops the Chrono to get away. But is still he gonna, gonna get far enough is the question, because Bombi is still chasing him. Six Ken, seconds for another stop? jump. Caudal is also coming in. Ken thought he's over with the fight, but he has to go back in. And another time walk is available. He will again disjoint Palos. I'm oh, sorry, he will disjoint himself from Ken. And here comes the DK, intervening, jumping on Bombi. Bombi trying to TP away, but Jotun's there for the TP cancel. Bit of healing coming in from Ken with the Illuminate. Bombi's fate is sealed. It didn't go all the way to commit on this face's void. All the other heroes are Cal to act, so he harvested. Them. Yeah. Link rotation is a great metal band, by the way. CDR gonna get pulled by the lasso from Drick, but there's a curse and some TPs coming in. CDR needs that heal. He gets it. The call comes in between as well. Uku can't finish off. CDR finally dies to Jotun. Throwing that shuriken in his face, Kuku trying to run out, he will get killed, Drick TP's out just in time. They got the Lina kill, but it almost cost them a whole lot more. Leave that, he's got a very tiny bubble on top of him, Bombi gets the other side of that. That's when he kills with Palos, he uses Chrono for it, and now onto the big one, which is the Centaur. He's got the Marcy lassoed up, and the stun's coming through. He will take down Marcy, and now also bullying Ken a bit here. You've got your two cores trying to run away. Ken, can he TP out? Yes, he can. Barely, so the Caudal would have been bad. Lacking on the damage department to fully commit. If you've got Mjolnir, then you feel a bit more, uh, a bit, a bit more safe. And it is, again, Axis as well. So if they stack their blinks. Don't look too good. Yoey does get the jump on Axe. Axe actually misses the call, but they're coming through the portal onto the DK. DK found himself very alone, but here Chrono. comes Palos and the Chrono. It's on three. He goes straight for Bomb. He takes down the Winter Rider. That's going to be number one onto the Marcy as well. They got the stun connected there. They got the last one onto Lina. Cast away from it. They got one for it as well, but Palos going to be relentless on top of it. CDR now left all by himself. The Aegis will burn, and they do get the turn on the side of Team Darlang. Now, they will finish off CDR as well, making it four kills. Team Darlang. Oh man, they just got destroyed. Remember when I said I favored Neon's draft 70% to the 30, mm. but then also mentioned that execution is the one that really defines this game? Well, yeah. Now they're kind of getting bullied here. Ken, they might just lose the Caudal for the first time. JG comes through the call, saving this Caudal, pushing him elsewhere into a safer spot. 
CDR finishes off Kuku. The lasso is onto Ken. Ken finally killed. Carlos coming in with the Chrono. It's only onto the Rift of Ivern, though. Oh, the LSA stun. JG goes to the call off of DK. DK trying to pull him away. Take down this axe. Axe is so low. They finally kill him. Three heroes gone. And two only remaining. Three on the other side. But that's already just engaged. But CDR, he's just getting stun locked on the spot. And Palos with Yoey. They sh make sure that this is a team wipe. And the thing is with these smokes, you're bound to run into an Invis bounty hunter and they're thinking around the area, but uh, it, it actually run into the DK, DK just quickly, okay, there we go, bounty hunter just walks into them. There's you. There is so Palo trying to jump in. This is a good jump here. They can maybe kill him with the call as well. Palo down. Just what they needed to do when they're going to be successful in doing so. Cuckoo going for the optimistic teleport away and is actually getting out with 400 HP. But the call, or actually even the curse in this case, hitting the back line. And there's your sudden turnover of a game. This is what we all needed 15 minutes ago. And that's getting four kills and finally getting some. Uh, some uh, Pickle Brick. Yeah, KG finds Kuku. Up the blade near. Stampy's in one. He's defensively for Stampy's in. Yes, he does. He's gonna go for the runaway. CDR also used up in the air. DK coming in with full speed. Jotun right on top of him. They isolate the Winter Wyvern. Bombi. And Paulo oh, in the back line gets the Chrono, but he's all by himself. Can he capitalize? Can he get any kills here? He gets maybe one, but Palos, you've been decapitated by the axe. And Kuku walks in for the stun. You've got Drick trying to make his run, make his way out of this fight. It's not going well at all. Like you know, you got a good chrono, but <laughs> just not in time. The way this game is going, like, you, you really, you, especially with the bounty that's buying gags next. Shaking off the uh, the morning dust, basically. 30 minutes into game number one as we're fighting once again inside the jungle. The lasso onto the Lina with the BKB up and running. CDR is pushed far behind. Cuckoo with the stun will connect. Lina in trouble. CDR needs some backup. LSA is there. They try to get him out. Bombi with the heal. It might just do enough to keep him alive. JG's here. Palos again to the back line. 15 seconds for the chrono. CDR still trying to fight back, but there's so many targets around him. And now Neon. They're losing too. And Ken's to fall as well. The curse is there, but it won't save us life. And yeah, now this one. This fight instead, uh, it's a lot better for Team Darlang. <laughs> Pretty sure there's a game like that in Sweden. So. Let's see, they're wrapping up. They're wrapping up right behind. They're gonna get the jump on Marcy. Skurf denies my facts here. Marcy getting killed. There's nice. a nice curse on four. They're gonna kill uh, Mr. Drick. And Bombi gets 872 gold for a support Batrider kill. Scrubs. What does DK do? Go, go up, go. Lina? Oh. From Lina. Palos is like, uh, I could chrono here, but nah. Honestly, to clip. honestly, that chrono would have been perfect. Like, he would have caught both Viver and Lina if he cast it over the trees. Pretty much all you need. They got the melee ranks out of the way, though. Decide. They, they will smoke up this one. Got a base right behind CDR. The call goes out on the Yoey. Yoey is down to half HP. KB right clicks coming in. Palos thinking about the chrono there for a second, but he's committed now. And he's just going to take the fight to the Lina. Doesn't care at all. There's the curse with Axe calling at the same time. Palos, he's almost finished off CDR. CDR is down for 70 seconds. That's your carry gone. He's going straight diving deep into the enemy base. He actually pulls himself back in. What a play from Palos. He feeds his Aegis. He doesn't really what care about it at this point. <laughs> Boss move, goes for the stun onto the Winter Wyvern. The call coming out from JG. You have to blow up their face as boy. Palos, you've just played yourself. Cuckoo what going the for the TP out. Jotun, he's also trying to get out of there, but he's going to get Yulst up into the air. And the call is ready for JG and into the Illuminate Blast. Ladies and gentlemen, there's your 1288. I feel like it could have been better, but then again, could have been worse. So. X, next one. That's a big nice. Oh, he killed the range creep just before Kono was getting there. Gonna have to take uh, Lina's teleport to the, the outpost. And Lina's here, turning things around. Let's Maybe pull. Axe Holy is fighting shit. to the end. Cuckoo dropping low. JG surviving. Gets another dunk. Does he get another one? Gets lassoed up by the Batrider. CDR will finish him off. Curse is also on the Yoe. The DK in trouble right now. And they don't have the damage output. At least on the side of Darling, they will lose their heroes here. And Yo getting caught as well. That's another set of four kills going for Neon after the fight. 
Man, Holy that was so God. close again that they would just get an axe pick off. Consi that's considered the best late game hero. I want to say Neon right now, but if this game stretches further, I'm going to the face this boy. Okay, yeah, I'm all darling if they're going to jump like that, but Nina is safe. JG going for the call onto the sideline, only catches the OE. They're trying to finish off CDR. He's fighting Cuckoo right now. The Chrono is there. It's got the Axe inside. They realize Axe is the big issue. CDR is there to help him out, though. They will finish off JG. CDR doesn't get to hit anybody right now. They're just fighting this Lina and trying to hit the back line at the same time. Wyvern in trouble as well. But they got the Coddle. Ken is going to be the next target. They got the last one to lead. Lina doesn't get any damage. Out Castaway trying to move in to save him. But they will drop Ken. Ken down as well. Now CDR left with Castaway, who's also dying. Bombi getting bullied in the back line. Ken buying back into the fight. CDR's age is gone. Cast away, dropping low as well, but Paolo is looking for another jump in. They will get Jotun down with the Dagon, and now Lina surrounded by more heroes. Can they get CDR down? Their curse is coming in. Paolo's slowly dying, slowly dying to the damage. Cast away's right there. LSA stun. Paolo's is down. They're going to look for Yoey as well. Yoey trying to get away with the Manta. Drick is trying to back him up, but he's got no mana left. And Cuckoo has nothing left as well either. Just slowing them down with the Shivas and helping his buddy, trying to get them out. But it's oh, gonna cost gone. his life as well with the stun connecting and a triple for Ken coming from the buybacks. So many heroes before CDR actually starts uh, dishing out damage to everyone. Oh, Jolten as well on the side. Marcy with the champ keeping the backup. They got the hex on the back before anything gets, uh, gets done. And they force the one of the buybacks. They force the voice to face void as well. Back in DK dropping low and gonna get dunked in the face. Apollos with the BKB, 23 seconds for the Chrono to be up, Apollos, he doesn't have much to give right now, he's trying to get away with his BKB already running up, and a call from JG coming out as well, the system's going to be on the basis point, dropping really low on HP, Yoten so low, and they're just forced away, and that's your dieback, Neon, they force out the GG, and that cost them the entire game as well, Neon to take the first one out of this one, holy, very back and forth Blizzard, but there can only be one victor. Like you get this Rubik Centaur, uh, lift into stun. I think it's strong even versus Lina Grimstroke. This top lane has been more about fighting and uh, poking right now as well. CDR is dropping low and Cuckoo will secure the kill. Got one kill in the mid lane. We got a tiny experience lead already. Hit level six. Uh, have that remnant teleport. Now Jotun is coming in. The swashbuckle's available for Ken. Tanking so many hits and he's not going to use the swashbuckle at all. He's just dead. But they're not killing this troll. Yeah, keeping sleeping I... top, by the way, as they're going for the lead. SDR now, three versus one. LSA on the Kuku. There's the Sprout coming out as well, trying to trade against Jotun. Jotun will drop down, and CDR finally taken as well. There's a lingering uh, tick onto Jotun. Ken also rotates in, trying to kill a Kuku. Yaoi comes in too, and maybe they can kill the Pango for a third time. Yes, they can. Oh, this is not the start at all for Ken whatsoever. They're gonna kill Castaway too, and it's a double for Drick with the Rubik. He's bringing Pango didn't have a game, and he's looking back. They're, they're ganking again. Yobi's coming from the back. Kuku is low, but they're using it for their advantage as they're going under the tower. Yobi. He's gonna have to rely on the flame guard and the right clicks, and they've got Pango, it. Drake securing guy, another yeah. kill, and now Kuku with the stun. Oh, poor Ken. Oh, he gets six. He gets six. He's fine. get the ulti, and they're just <laughs> fighting now. Trying to make him run in circles, but this uh, Pango is going to be right on top of Cuckoo, cancelling his ulti, and Cuckoo will be taken down. So Ken gets to live a bit longer. He, might die. he does, okay, have, a, he does have an active remnant here, but uh, Yoten, I feel like they're just going to sack him as well. 15-20 seconds. Oh, Drick has a big bounty on him, by the way. They don't want to give that one to Ken, so the stuns are there. Nice burst as well. Ken will drop with his friend Castaway. Okay, never mind. And Cuckoo <laughs> is going to return the tip. You know, getting a level 6, almost level 7, now 7-7 seven, seven in this uh, particular minute. Lena. Oh, it's good. Surrounded here, CDR just burst it down. Drick with the stolen Laguna Blade returns the favor. They got the lift as well on the castaway. Bombi's trying to do his best. Ken also jumping in the back, has his ulti available. They got silence onto the Ember Spirit. Fade That's the Phantom's Embrace, the bug. But fixed. You and I. Oh, Ken, if it can, does do a lot of damage with that level. Hit by the first one. Does not know where he is, but they're doing a decent amount of damage to him. And they kill his carrier. Yeah, they hit him with pretty much everything. Not Ken's every trying again. Blind yeah. buckle. What a good read, by the way, from Ken. Pretty sick attempt. 
and almost gets this kill. Who's gonna die first? Yoi is low, but Ken's the one to drop first, and Yoi lives. Is Bebop the guy that... that uh, I, know, I don't know, so I, just, I, I just have a memory of that. We'll get to that in a second. A CDR dying. Uh, it's a big pick again, killing off Selena. No coming back Very into big this pick game. Off, yeah. yep, but, uh, are we getting a follow-up for this kill? Troll is actually spotted. Ken popping the Rolling Thunder. There's the pick call. Piggy, piggy, run, run. Ken, that's just the first time to connect, but he can't get himself flipped, and they will just float. Nicely done. They're called Sai. Yeah, Thank Zai. The Zai weapon. Zai. Thank you, Atius. Eight years. I hope I'm doing that oh, right. Poor Cuckoo. Silence, no stampede, nothing. Rubik's Cube's on its way. It's Pickle Drick. No, oh, he, he only turned right there. He could have hit two people with the stun, and you know, we could have he maybe gone in. But yo, he's gonna come to the side. Down Bumpy, maybe. Okay, there we go. He finally has it. And we're scared to clean up the embrace. Ken is going good. Ken is actually going in. JG is there to help him out to kill. But H is Prophet. He has the long uh, time to go, right? Ah, he's the main guy. Yeah, double yeah. sword. Not nice. Way. Way. JG actually stealing it. Bombers. Ken diving in deep to recognize this is maybe the third time. Oh, Ken rolling about so Palos can just, you know, Tokyo Bo drift his way away. They've got this uh, nice soul bind to stun, connecting on Rubik and the Centaur. The LSA on two as well. Yoten not getting to do much here. CDR forced back. Palos driving in. He's got his ulti already used, but he will drop in the arms that? of CDR. CDR finally killed off. Yoey will get the kill for himself. Bombi battling it out with Yoey. Has the as well, and they will make sure he drops as well. So a three for two trade off, and all because this Timber stole the Aegis. So so far. What do you mean, Elder Titan is the April? I'm kidding. Because April, is, because April is wise. Elder Titan is wise. Oh, JG is also wise, jumping on Cuckoo, forcing out the Stampede again. Yo, trying to bully him. Two man chains coming out as well. Ken. Can they get any damage done though? Lina's only Stunt. just now joining the fight. They're still somehow holding their ground. And Ken just being hammered by Paulo, stuck on the spot. CDR gets nothing done. And Paulo's with the triple kill for Team Darling. Yeah. yeah. Skurf actually gave a pretty good one. <laughs> Can you write it? Uh, wait, I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give you a second. Fight though. Got two separate fights going on at the same time. CDR. Uh, there is a teaming out. Do you want to write your answer in? You press enter and just type it, but don't send it into it. We don't want the players to wonder what the hell's happening. CDR getting bullied at the same time. Ken's coming in to save him with the ult. That blade mail on this period is really hurting Delina, and CDR goes down. Yo, we will finish him off. And Ken has to run away with the boulder. The personality definitely doesn't fit. You know, it's not that mentor guy. Well, if you know me any good, I have Enigma. But uh, CDR again in trouble. That they just died to this blade mail, man. They really want to kill this Furion, and Jotun just by existing is killing this Lina. He's got a ward and himself as another ward. He's giving a lot of information to his team, guys, there in the triangle. Leon gotta be careful. JG wants to take the outpost. And they actually get the jump on the back. Ruku stuns too. Got the stampede again, and Bombi's dead. He just doesn't get to participate in this fight whatsoever. Tango getting tag teamed, surrounded by enemies. There's a nice swap from Castaway. The stun onto Paolo. He gets to roll away with his ulti, but Castaway might have just given his life away just to save his buddy. But it's it's probably worth. If you're sitting and waiting in your base, you're waiting to lose. I I kind kindly disagree. <laughs> I, like, I I agree with Mushi. I there are agree with Mushi. Yeah, this game, okay. Paolo's getting the jump on Ken, though. He's rooted on the spot. Doesn't get away at all. Now, CDR, where's your attack speed? You've got to start blowing up this troll. Troll gets his ulti up. The Satanic's available as well. With the Aegis, Castle is dropping low, and he's down as well. It's already two heroes dropping. They lost the Pango. JT's down, too. And this Nina doesn't get the standing chance. Not even a chance to fight back, so uh, I think we're... We're basically just repeating a broken record here for Team Darling, but they have been in charge of this game since pretty pretty much minute three, minute four. And we'll tie it up. Best of one series now between the two teams, Team Darlang and Team Neon Esports. And Aurora is waiting for the victor in the grand finals.
It's not the first time Cuckoo would run into his uh, opponents. And this is exactly what's happening again. He's going for the Watcher. Gonna get hit by the stun, the blood grenade, the spin from CDR. And then for high CDR for the first blood damage. Yeah. So every time I see Bramble Maze, it gives me, uh, I don't know if I'm butchering the pronunciation, but it gives me like Toho vibes. Pass right. away. Goes down. That's the first kill for Darling. He's into battle covers, which is just great. They're diving mid, by the way, at the same time. Ken being really pressured here by Drake and Yaoi. Goes for the Vortex and has to pop almost every bit of regeneration he has, but it's not going to be enough 1v2. Or team will. Here we go. Monk into another Bramble. Beautiful there from JG. Taking the time. Kalos has a big one to use. But they have Shadow Realm if they need to secure this kill. They might have to use it here because JG is not quite getting the kill. Nice jukes from Palos. And just need to get a little bit closer. Spears available, but AJ is he not? Is he actually getting out? He needs to dodge the spear. Palos is really playing mad here, but will finally get speared and impaled. So went to the line. Let's Stealing see. more CS. Yes, they are. He took the big creep as well. That's three big neutral creeps already He's gonna killed. Get storm, and he might just get killed here all by himself by the Ember. Dude, Ken is getting cyber bullied. Okay, they back, they back out. They do the safer play. Understandable. Yep, they're rotating bottom now. Mars is popping the ulti on top of Hollows. Spear is there. Storm has TP in with an Invis rune. Flame break does connect on to the Mars. The ulti is there. To Dive in deep. Slayed on cooldown. Killed up Yoki. This Storm can die. He has a lot of one shot. Not a lot of mana. Right hand zap. Bumpy is coming in. Cast away as well. Palo dropping low. Palo's about to die. Can he survive? No. Drix snipes him. Drix. Dude, this guy ran from the top tier 2 tower all the way to bottom just to snipe this Storm Spirit. Drix. Almost level 6 on this vent as well. Stun from Tunk and Jug. Beautiful stun from Lion. But Yoey is there. CDR low on HP. Remnant jump available after the silence runs out. CDR. Only slash onto the back rider. They can't swap the dead. They can't actually so far. Oh, yeah, they end up losing one. Oh, a double kill. kill. Double kill with the chains. Well, pretty much double. Looked like yeah. it at least. Bombi having to fight the Venge. Venge is going for the TP out. And they're going in. They're going in on Ken again. He has a regen rune. He doesn't get to use it and flame guards pop, and now he does have to cast away. And gets the jump to safety. Now he's initiated on by JG. And he's considering going back in. It's a bit more time. His region's still running. Swap comes out. This is the Shadow Realm. This is Bambi. Double root, though. Running into both of the roots. Yoey isn't able to dodge Ken. Ken finally gets a bit of revenge. And he wants this guy. He really wants this guy. You made my life miserable. You bullied me. I bully you now. And Drick will go down. Dude, yes, but I'd rather see Avenge with Solar Crest. Storm. I was thinking Solar Crest as well, but Ken... Walking out on the edge of the of the arena, Castaway is already down. They got the Omni Slash. That's a lot of damage already dealt to heroes down from Neon, and they only now get to kill the Venge. CDR is moving out. Bombi's low on HP. JG is being targeted by the whole team right now. Palos with a double with the Luna. Trick, gotta get out as well. They are hunting him. Arena will be used. Oh, nice swap to dodge the stun, but it's not gonna do a difference though. Oh, oh wait, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Hold! Hold! Yep. No one was showing on top. Ember was still pushing, so they know the smoke is happening. They know for a fact. They see Storm as well. There's the jump. Ooh, and again! again. Look at that damage. It is obscene. Cuckoo, with the help of Yoey, blow up the Storm and the Juggernaut. Cast away, getting hunted down. And JG, that's eight kills in total in less than a minute. Might get into a bit of an ill surprise in the top lane, but he's got his distance. Storm's coming in, he instantly remnants away. He's going and for He's Mars going Smith. for a kill at the same time. Dude, he just dodged a gank into killing somebody else on the other side of the map. That's his, that's the, the TI ring he wish he had, right? Did someone get a divorce on Dyer? Is this some I next... Hope, I hope not. That would <laughs> be some <laughs> next level BM, dude. Uh, that would be some real emotional <laughs> damage right there. Some kind of banter here. Like we, need to, we need to know. Mm -hmm. We need to know the spice. Since they jump on Castaway. There's your lion deleted. Nice jumps as well from Yoey. He's just going all over the place here. 
Right? Pretty much used every single remnant that he had. He has that DD rune. Ken is low on HP, but this Yoe Ember is about to drop this the swap state from Drick. He's playing mind tricks once again. Cuckoo, he's got the stun on CDR, but they're looking to fight all the way to the end on the side of Neon. Can they hold this base? They need to get kills. There's the Eclipse coming out from Palos as well. Castaway will drop, and that's a second time they kill him. So a die back on the Lion, and they have taken the base. Dude, I cannot believe that Ember lives. This Solar Crest Glimmer combo and the swap is way too strong. Nice little yeah, storm. Trying to blow him up. The lasso is going to be there to connect on the storm spirit. They've got a bouncing mi magic missile going around, stunning Drick. Bosku, meanwhile, just jumping on the back line, hitting Bombi and CDR. Hashtag for Gabby as Palos is looking for vengeance. As Gabby got knocked out, this team did not. It is Team Darling to the grand finals up against Aurora. Whoa.